Hello, I'm Chris Menard. In today's Excel video, I'm going to cover one of my favorite functions. It is a date and time function called the today function. I'm not going to cover the today function. I'll use it with an accounting exercise. When I do the accounting exercise, I'll also use average function, average if, and then I'm going to jump to an employee or HR type of exercise and use the today function again. So this is chapter one, the intro chapter. Chapter two is going to be quickly how the today function works. Chapter three will be the accounting exercise. And then chapter four will be the HR exercise. The file that I'm using will be available to you down in the description below. Let me know if you have any comments or questions and feel free to subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the today function. The today function has no arguments. Under formulas, you would find this under date and time right here. When I say the today function has no arguments, and I'm wanting the current date equals TOD, I can hit tab, meaning there's no cell reference. That's it. I can press enter. I'm going to get the current date in my computer, which today is Sunday, January 17th, 2021. If I saved this file, opened it tomorrow, that date in cell B4 will say the 18th. Two days from now, it'll be the 19th. So there's the today function, no arguments. And in case you're wondering what's an argument, here you go. Invoice amounts, alt equal, there's the sum function with the cell reference. That had one argument in it. One more real quick, two arguments would be, I wanna know how many invoices are over $500. If you look there, I hope you see that there's three that are over 500. So I'm gonna use the count if function. Argument one is the range, comma, Argument two is my criteria. So the count if function had two arguments. And there's my number three right there. All right, so here's the today function. Let's do this accounting exercise real quick. Today's January 17th, 2021. This first invoice is dated 12 16 2020. Doing the math in my head, this thing is 31, 32, maybe 33 days old. Our terms are net 30. So let's find out how old the invoice is first. Two ways to do this. I could do the today function minus the invoice date. Crosshairs and autofill down. That is method one. I don't prefer that method because if you notice in cell B4, I've got today's date. So let's use that function. I'm sorry, let's use that cell reference you need to make it absolute reference. Press the F4 function key or type in the dollar signs yourself. That means don't move cell B4. There you go. I should get the exact same answer. Crosshairs, double click. Both methods I just did were correct. I prefer the one I just did referencing the cell. So tomorrow, these will go to 33, 3, 80, Number of days overdue, our terms are net 30. So this first invoice is two days overdue. F7 minus 32 days. Get your crosshairs, bottom right corner, double click. There you go, I did this intentionally. Some of those invoices aren't even due yet, so we got negative days. Which leads me to this bonus tip. If you wanted to know the average, number of days overdue, I've got negatives in there. That answer is incorrect because it's picking up the negatives. Average also picks up zeros and counts it. I only want to know if something's overdue, so I'm going to use average if. There's, you know this, there's argument one, comma, what's my criteria? greater than zero, comma, if I see something greater than zero, I want to average it, sure. Three arguments in this function, this is a bonus function, 24 days, no offense, let's see if that's right, I'm going to click on the two, 
I'm holding down the control key. I'm going to click on the 49, the 30, and the 15. Look down in the bottom right, your status bar, average 24. There you go. There's the average if function. Also, though, the purpose, though, is the today function. Final chapter. Let's go do something now with employees, and I call this HR. To save time, I didn't feel like typing in first name and last name, last name in column A and B, but I did throw in a few departments, and then I put in someone's DOH date of hire. Again, I could do the today function here, but I'd prefer you come up here and put in current date. You know this one equals today, open and close parenth. One bonus tip, if you, need a re if you need to look out a couple days in the future, absolutely plus two. If you need to go back a week for some reason, minus seven. Just to show you, you can do that. Anyway, so there's the current date. I want to know how many years this first employee has worked equals... The old date diff function, D-A-T-E-D-I-F, open parent. This function is not listed in the formulas up top. It's an old school function. You got to type it out. There are three arguments, start date, end date, and how do you want to see it? I want to see years right now. So the start date is cell D4, comma, D1, I'm going to absolute reference that because I'm going to go down the screen with it. Comma, I just want to see the years. I'm going to do the letter Y in quotes. 27 years. If you don't mind, I'm going to test that just real quick. I'm going to go that minus that. Remember, dates are numbers. And then I'm going to take that number and divide it by 365 days. I better get 27 point something. And I do. I just wanted to make sure that's right. Uh, date diff, perfect, crosshairs, double click. There are your years down the screen. Notice I got it. This was intentional. I put this next person in starting on January 8th, 2021. Today's the 17th. So that is zero years. If you want to make this real easy, I just, I'll do it one more time. I was going to do a mixed reference, and I'll come back and do that. Date diff, open parent, remember, start date, argument one, comma, end date, absolute reference that. I want to see the months. If you just do the letter M, it is going to give me every month, meaning 27 times 12. Just to prove it, watch. 327 months. I'm going to edit this, YM, the number of months since the last year. So do the 27 years, and then how many months? Three months. November 15th, December 15th, and January 15th, that is correct. YM, crosshairs, double click, and the last one, I'm going to fly through this. This is just the days, same steps. Everybody having a good time? I am. I love Excel. Here you go on this third argument. The letter D is going to give you every, every day. Remember that? I had that number just a second ago. YD would give me the number of days from the year, just to show you this. Not what I want. In this example, not what I want. I want to do an MD. Two days, the 15th, 17th, that is two days, crosshairs. There you go. There is the beautiful, wonderful today function. Tomorrow that will change to the 18th, and everything will change for the number of days in column G, and then the, soon the months will be changing, and soon the years will be changing. Let me know if you have any questions about any of the functions I did today. This was the focus on the today function, but I wanted to show you how I use it in real life when I'm analyzing stuff. I love the today function. Feel free to subscribe. Let me know any questions or comments. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.